Hi, I'm Robin Mures, and this is one of my Venice public art pieces. Uh, one of the first that I created, and this is Astro, uh, my partner in crime. So here I painted on the sidewalk. It looks like a big blob, but when you see the reflection here, you um, should be seeing the face of our creator. So this is a magical portrait of Abbot Kinney. I call it Abbot Kinney Reflected. And it's um, in honor of the magic that he created in creating Venice Beach. So Abbot Kinney Reflected was one of the first pieces I did in Venice. And it, I did it uh, when there was an article in GQ saying that Abbot Kinney Boulevard was like the best shopping or restaurants in the US. And I thought, no, there's so much more to our culture and our heritage. So here I describe uh, Mr. Abbott Kinney, 1850 to 1920, created Venice of America in 1905 as a mashup of Venice, Italy and Coney Island with Italian architecture, canals, wild ro roller coasters, the midway plaisance and amuse pier amusements, huge dance halls, a saltwater plunge, a miniature train, trolleys, live camel rides, lush tropical gardens, gondolas, majestic crafts, man homes, music, art, and magic. So let's continue on and I'll show you a few more of my sculptures that bring these things out, like the camels. Hi, so here we are at the Camel Group, and this is a recreation of a postcard from a hundred years ago. In 1905, there were live camel rides in Venice, of course. Um, so this is the camel man who would have been walking the camel, and there are women in vintage clothing riding the camel, and there are kids running behind, and that's how the whole postcard um, appears. Actually, one of the kids is missing thanks to recent vandalism, but I'll put him back out there soon. So here we are on Abikini Boulevard at my peephole box. Um, most of the sculptures I've done could be described as being no-tech, interactive sculptures that bring out colorful stories of Venice's history. And this one, this like little welded steel box, when you peek inside, you get a view of what used to be um, in many of the streets back here near Abikini Boulevard and Main Street. Uh, in 1905. So I'll take a peek and let you do the same. So what I'm looking at is what used to be at Windward Circle, looking down Main Street and at Windward Circle, which was then the lagoon. And there was a, a huge, I think it was like 80 foot high diving platform and a giant roller coaster called Race Through the Clouds. This was a really lively place. Um, Abbot Kinney's Venice of America was uh, a mashup of Coney Island and Venice, Italy. So take a peek uh, when you're walking along Abbot Kinney and enjoy. So here we are in Centennial Park, and this is like in the middle of North and South Venice Boulevard. Um, it starts at the tip at Abbott Kinney Boulevard and runs to the library. Um, and here I've installed these mosaic balls that double as like sculpture and seating. And the one I'm sitting on right now with Astro is the Tongva Turtle Ball. And so each of these also has imagery that brings out stories of the history of Venice. And in this case, uh, it was the Tongva who were the Native Americans who lived here before we did. And they have a story of the creation of California based on sea turtles. So that's why we've got our sea turtles here. Uh, the other balls in the park include one that commemorates the wild amusements that were here that Abbot Kinney created, the roller coasters and um, carnival. And there's another one with the rocket ships that honor Ray Bradbury, the father of science fiction who lived and worked in Venice. 
and one that used to be here but during COVID just experienced an insane accident um, was the, uh, the, the lion that was for the um, symbol of the Republic of Venice was the winged lion. So the winged lion now will be under repair and it'll come back and soon we will also have the Venice Blind Carousel which is a project I've been working on for a couple of years. Also no tech interactive sculpture this one you'll be able to ride on and it brings out stories of the history of Venice all of the animals are um, animals that bring out Venice history and it's no tech it has no motor but one person one kid will be able to pedal a bicycle as 15 adults and kids can ride and it will be right here um, in the widest part near to the library and it'll be um, for everyone to ride and enjoy and learn something about Venice's history and about technology, you know, off the grid, or just have fun. So this um, is one of the mosaic balls, and it uh, they're each made of 500 pounds of concrete plus a mosaic of marble and granite shards. So they're plenty sturdy and they're installed in concrete and uh, they're here to stay. You can stand on them and jump on them, but you can't hide behind them or sleep on them. So here is my cha-cha-cha, just painted on the sidewalk, though I may someday make it in stainless as I've done in Houston and in Napa and I have the permits for it in the park. Uh, this again is an interactive piece. The story of Venice is that we had an enormous dance hall. They had dance marathons with hundreds of people. And that was also up on the pier. So here though, you can um, learn to do the cha-cha-cha the way Fred Astaire would have taught. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we, here we are at the Venice Corner Ballpark. It pays tribute to the minor league baseball team that was once here. There are hard balls and grassy mounds. And each of the balls has imagery for things that, again, mean something about Venice. So this one is sea kelp that we have uh, growing in our Santa Monica Bay. And the first was sea anemones. And over here, I don't know if you can see it, if you stay at a distance, you see the portrait. This is one of the portraits from the capitals um, of the colonnade that are at the beach, the Italian architecture that Abikini built that um, is on windward as you enter the beach. And on the other side here, around. Do you see her face? Mm -hmm. She's easier yeah. to see. So on the those capitals have the two faces, the woman and the man. And then we have one more mosaic ball. And this again is a camel, which is of course a wonderful a repeating image that I do. Here's the head of the camel and it's, here's the head, and it's uh, seated, and I think it's just so unexpected that we have live camel rides in Venice, so to me that's a great icon that brings out, you know, the colorful history that Venice had. And then uh, we painted on the electrical box here, oh, wow. so that everyone will know the story of the Venice Tigers having been here. They had, so I call it the Venice Corner Ballpark, and it alludes to the ballpark that the Venice Tigers had, which was just a block from here. So where we now have um, South Venice Boulevard and the intersection of Abikini, that was their baseball park. But um, yeah, so mine is an earthworks that pays tribute to the ballpark that once was.